I'm hoping this Munsters movie gets a super legit Dragula! That's right, friends. And before we talk a little bit about Rob Zombie's Munsters reboot, it looks like about 50% of our audience is actually subscribed to the channel. So if you could just take that opportunity, if we've earned it from this video or maybe one of the other videos that you check out today or any of the next days, if you could at least like and subscribe, hopefully we've earned it from you. And uh, we'll check back on that one at another time. But in the meantime, let's talk about Something I'm kind of excited about. When I was a little kid, uh, you know, I grew up with a black and white television, and I used to watch all the old reruns, Gilligan's Island, Munsters, Adam's Family. So these shows have a special place in my heart, just like I know they do for Rob Zombie. In fact, one of his most popular songs is called Dragula, and I'm pretty sure he's in fact talking about the Munsters car, which we'll get into in a second. Uh, but here we have hot off the presses it looks like uh, we're coming from comic book news the uh, Rob Zombie's Munsters shows off some new makeup effects for new characters and uh, let's take a look here because he's going all practical and it's interesting because he's there's been a lot of hype around it but Rob Zombie's been known to abandon several projects like a remake of the blob and uh, he was also going to do a movie about the Broad Street Bullies the Philadelphia hockey team and all these things keep falling to the wayside so but it seems like this one's moving forward because we're seeing makeup effects we're seeing uh as i'll show you in another shot like the they're building the mansion itself and i remember the show is pretty funny because it's it's based around uh this family of monsters but they're all benign monsters they're all friendly you know grandpa is a is a dracula <laughs> um Herman is a, uh, uh, you know, he's a Frankenstein's monster, but they have a, a, a teenage niece who's a normal girl, and she's like the ugly duckling of the family. She's this blonde chick, and then there's Eddie Munster who's a little werewolf. So, it's pretty funny. So what they're doing here, and and I'm hoping this will be. I don't know if it'll be funny. Like I don't know what Rob Zombie's gonna do with this. I'm hoping it's gonna be a classic. And he's he's talked about how much he loves the show. He says he's seen every Monsters at least 17 times. So here's uh, just a couple pictures from his Instagram. They're making molds here. Uh, they have some gnarly teeth they're showing off. Looks pretty cool. Nice practical effect demon or zombie or you know just maybe a dead body, like ghoul type thing. We have another here, another mold. It says demon on the mold. So that's pretty cool. So it's it seems like it's coming along. I, I don't think it's so exciting to talk necessarily about like these particular pictures, which are not hyper exciting, but what they are, they do show that there's some real progress on this thing. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I think this could be really good. You know, uh, I, I have no idea. He And he says, like, there's no show that can't be remade. And I think there's a place for this. And Rob Zombie always has his unique take. Uh, let's take another look at some of the other stuff that he was working on here. He's got... What I was really excited about, too, is he said not only are they making Mockingbird Lane... Uh, Mockingbird, the, the mansion that they lived in, but they're making the entire lane. Like, they're, they're building everything. So that way you get a real idea of the neighborhood. It's going to be... Like, they paved a road for it. Like, all right, it seems like they're putting money into this. It's pretty uh, legit, you know? They, they, we've seen a little bit of Grandpa Munster's wig. And um, we don't know exactly who's going to be cast yet, but they there seem to be moving along. I don't know. Are you guys excited? I'm, I'm definitely excited. I think the one thing that I might be the most excited for is the potential of, of making... A legit dra I mean, he has to put a Dragula in there. And I know this is a tiny picture. Uh, I have others. <laughs> I mean, it's really tiny. Hold on. Yeah, there's these ridiculous ra There's a, a race ep episode where he races his, like, this is his drag racer. And, you know, it's it's Herman, this enormous monster, and this tiny little drag racer. Um, yeah, all these pictures are so small. I wish I had better pictures. Maybe I can. There's, there's a bigger one. Just to give you an idea. I don't know if that's a reproduction or if that's a legit one, but it, it's just cool. 
a lot of nostalgia in this. I'm hoping they do it right. We'll see what happens. You know, Rob Zombie's kind of hit or miss with these things. Uh, but at least you'll get a unique take. And he's doing so much of it with practical effects, which seems to be even cheaper these days. So let's go with it. Let's see more practical effects. I mean, if this is successful, maybe we will see more practical effects. I remember when they redid the, uh, I mean, there's a handful of movies that they've redone and they just, they, they just turn out terrible. The CGI always looks dated and none of this stuff, uh, you know, um, ever looks that great. So let's hope that this turns out for the best. And, uh, let me know, are you excited for the monsters movie again? If we earned your subscription, I hope we did. And we'll continue to give this type of news to you as well as check out our full length audio podcast. You can get that anywhere where you can subscribe to uh, Spotify and iTunes and all those great places. Make sure that you also take a look at our full length audio podcast live stream that we do on Friday nights on YouTube right here on YouTube. So catch us there 730 Eastern Standard Time PM and we'll see you on the next one as I go on to the next one. Mm -hmm.